After the reception of the last of four striker-based 50-kilowatt Laser Guardian prototypes by the U.S. Army in September 2023, a new era will start for soldiers who find themselves on the cusp of mastering a cutting-edge form of warfare, as Breaking Defense reports. This milestone ignited a fervent exploration of combat tactics that would meld this groundbreaking directed energy technology with conventional kinetic weaponry. The intricate interplay between power, effectiveness, and dependability became the focal point of intense scrutiny among acquisition officials. Within this dynamic landscape, a lieutenant general, whose insights are reported by breaking defense, unveils the complexity of the situation. In Huntsville, Alabama, Lt. Gen. Robert Rash, leading the Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office RCCTO, addressed an eager audience. His words underlined the uncertainty shrouding the utilization of directed energy systems in actual battles. Rash's mission encompassed overseeing the evolution of three distinct directed energy initiatives, with Raytheon's RTX, groundbreaking work at the forefront. Their masterpiece, the striker-based Directed Energy Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense System DEM Shorat, called Guardian, stood poised to neutralize aerial drones and hostile projectiles ranging from Class 1 to 3. The culmination of their endeavors will be marked by the impending delivery of the fourth prototype to the U.S. Army. As the sun set on the development phase and the platoon gained possession of all four cutting-edge vehicles, a new chapter will unfold. It is a chapter dedicated to shaping the strategies, tactics, and training regimens that will empower soldiers to harness the formidable capabilities at their fingertips. A journey towards a pivotal operational assessment will start, one that should validate their readiness to deploy these innovations on the battlefield. In the midst of these groundbreaking advances, the Army will find itself entrusted not only with the directed energy variant but also the kinetic counterpart of the vehicle-based defense system, aptly named MSHORAD. This dual responsibility aims at leading to comprehensive evaluations, striking the delicate balance required to optimize counter-UAS capabilities in maneuver warfare. Lt. Gen. Rash revealed that the next stage of prototyping is already underway, shrouded in secrecy regarding its specifics. What is certain, however, is that this discrete operation holds the key to unlocking answers pertaining to lethality, manufacturability, dependability, and the ever-elusive conundrum of affordability. The ideals fueling these advancements bear the weight of pragmatism. Lt. Gen. Rash aptly acknowledged that the pursuit of directed energy solutions is a direct response to the inherent limitations of traditional missile arsenals. The allure of renewable kilowatt power is undeniable, but its incorporation into the military arsenal hinges on its viability as a cost-effective and dependable solution. In the midst of these aspirations and revelations, Lt. Gen. Daniel Karbler, leader of the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command, emerges as a voice of reason. He acknowledges the intricate nature of the endeavor, likening it to a far cry from the mechanical simplicity of a Humvee. The ethereal nature of laser components echoes his sentiments, accentuating their ephemeral essence that defies the notion of stockpiled spares. The evolution of these components would necessitate a paradigm shift, where building from scratch would become the norm. Amid the backdrop of this transformative tale, the pursuit of cutting-edge warfare was propelled by the dedication of soldiers and the wisdom of leaders. This chapter in history marked the transition from the familiar embrace of traditional weapons to the enigmatic aura of directed energy, and in doing so, it exemplified the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit in its relentless pursuit of progress.